Yeah. That's funny. Well, listen, I know, you, I know you, nobody likes to focus on negative things, but, I mean, can you talk about just, I guess, how frustrating this run has been for you where you're, you're, you're like, right there but just not getting the result you want? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, the last couple of fights I've – have gone to decision and you know some of them have been questionable and you know and and in my mind you know I feel like yeah I deserved that win so um it's been frustrating you know because it looks bad to have three losses in a row it would look better to have I don't know one 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 and then lost one and then one one or you know vice versa but uh yeah it's a little frustrating so got to go out there and do everything that I can to get this win I was going to say, does it, does it impact you at all, like, on a daily basis, like, in the gym or in your training approach or whatever, to feel like you've got to change something? I mean, obviously, everybody at this level is working hard and doing the best they can, but do you, like, I, I have to do something completely different? Yeah, I feel like, you know, I'm like, man, am I not training hard enough? Do I need to trade harder? Do I need to do something different? I mean, what is it? Um, you know, I think for me, it, it's just – I haven't been focusing on like who I am and like my skill sets and what I'm what I'm great at. I think I've kind of gotten away from the best parts of me, and so for this fight camp, I've been focusing on that and trying to get back to that. It's interesting. Is that like a trap? I think people fall into that sometimes, right? Like everybody wants to be the most well-rounded fighter they can, but like certain people just do things really well, right? So is it yeah. kind of a thing that focus on what what got you there, so to speak? Yes. Um, you know, I feel like. Uh, I feel like parts of me started, huh, yeah, I don't want to say dull, but I mean, like, you know, some, some of my skills, I feel like maybe it started to dull a little, you know, and I needed to sharpen them, you know. Um, so that's what I kind of uh, focused on this camp is just focusing on sharpening everything and just, you know, getting back to the best parts of me, like I just said. Um, I did go, I went out to Colorado, you know, worked on a lot of striking there. I've uh, been working on my wrestling and my grappling and just trying to, you know, sharpen everything that, you know, I need to to get this win. Nice. Uh, what did you think about the matchup when they gave it to you? I mean, obviously you fought a lot of, of veterans. She's got kind of a, a name to her, a mm -hmm. part of it with her sister, of course. But, I mean, what did you think when this was the opponent that was offered? I, th I thought it was a great matchup. I'm thinking this is going to be an exciting fight. Um, she's a striker, you know. She likes to stand and bang. But lately I've been seeing her, you know, take it to the ground, and she she's – started to take a liking to grappling so you know I, we're both well-rounded fighters so I mean this fight can go anywhere I think that it, it's going to be exciting no matter where it's at yeah. just you say I mean everybody's have said trying to get well-rounded she's worried but her best is her striking so does part of you like want to engage her there to kind of put on a striking fight that could be a lot of fun or do you feel like well I know her grappling is probably a weakness so that's probably an easier place to target um, every, you know, I mean, going into a fight, you want to expose someone's weakness. But I'm excited to take this fight, you know, everywhere. I want to, I want to fight her everywhere. So I want to, you know, stand and bang with her, and I want to, I want to take her down too, you know, and, and get a finish wherever it's at, you know. Fighting in Texas, I mean, I guess you know, once you get in there, it's just a cage. But I mean, is it special? Does that add something to it to you? <sighs> just being closer to home, I think it, it's exciting. You know, I fought here a couple of times before and uh, both times have not gone my way so I'm I'm here to make this fight you know mine and I want to get my hand raised in Houston for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, last thing for me I guess is uh, what you know as I said you've been right there in these in these in these losses you know arguably with some of them so I mean is this just about winning at, at all costs just getting this kind of streak over with or do you want to go out there and do so because on paper it looks like it could be a pretty exciting fight so what's more important to you to go put on an exciting entertaining fight or just to get a win by whatever means necessary well both is important to me you know I want to be exciting I want to I want to I want to go out there and you know get a performance bonus and to do that you have to be exciting and you have to finish you either you have to have a really exciting you know three round fight or you have to have an exciting finish so um to me it's important to do both i, I want to go out there and continue to impress the, the ones that matter you know obviously the fans but dana you know because he likes to see exciting fights and exciting fighters in the cage so uh it's important for me to go out there get my hand raised but be exciting too Okay. Uh, was there any hesitation to take the fight in Houston, considering like the, your fight against Lauren Murphy? I, the vast majority of fans thought you won, and even 
the rest of that card, there are a lot of decisions that people are confused about from the judges, specifically in Houston. So is there any hesitation to take another fight here? Just a tad bit. I mean, and, and not because I, I mean, I definitely want to fight in, in Texas. I love Texas. You know, I'm from Texas. Um, but I, but my reason for, for just that thought was like, oh, man, I mean, I did kind of, I made a statement, you know, and I'm, I might be on, I don't know who's judging the fight, you know, I might be on their bad side. I don't know. So, so yeah, I mean, there, there was slight hesitation. I'm just like, well, I, I can't let it go to the judge's hands, you know. And then you obviously have an extensive striking background with, Mo with your Muay Thai experience. She has a lot of uh, experience in kickboxing and boxing. So how would you compare your striking to hers inside the octagon? Uh, I guess it's hard to, to compare it because, I mean, I haven't, I haven't competed or trained against her yet. But um, I'm sure that she, I think she's, a, she's got cleaner, a little bit cleaner striking than I do. But I think, you know, it's still tip for tat. You know, I, I, I'm, you know, I have... Um, a lot of techniques in, and uh, abilities that you know some people just haven't seen and I haven't I haven't put out there yet you know that I'm going to hopefully in this fight. Andrew over here. Hey. What's up, buddy? Hey Kendrick. <laughs> how, how big a deal is it to come out there you, you say you want to put on a show I asked her earlier what if you went out there and just went for broke and took chances and she's like that would be stupid what do you think what do you think about her saying that? Stupid for I don't think it's stupid. Um, I mean, you see a lot of fighters go out there, you know, and they, they, they take chances and then they end up getting some crazy finishes. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. Um, but, you know, for me, it's not that I plan on going out there and doing anything stupid, you know, and just going balls to the wall. I mean, I still plan on being smart about my approach, but I'm just, I just mean I'm going to bring the fight to her, you know. Do you think the fact that you're a better athlete than her, you think that'll play to your advantage? Because she's very technical and kind of, I don't want to use the word robotic, but very plotted out with what she does. Do you think putting pressure on her and making her uncomfortable will be something that you have to do to see what she's made out of? Because she likes to dictate the terms of the pace. I think putting pressure on her definitely help. You know, I don't think she really likes to fight backing up, but she is still, she, she's still a threat, you know. So, I mean, you don't want to just go out there and, and just, you know. I don't want to just go out there, charge, try to take her down, you know, and then catch a knee on the way in or anything like that. Are you, are you worried about any of her power in her hands? Of course, we know she got kicks and knees. It looks like she has power. I mean, I saw her, you know, she, she's, um, uh, she's got a good, solid left hand. So, I mean, I'm not too concerned, though. And, of course, you know, being in Houston, how everybody likes a, a crazy fight, how do you keep your emotions in check? Being from here, you got probably family that's coming to see you. You got people that hadn't seen fights live here in a year and a half. How you, are you going to plan on dealing with all that emotion because it's going to be craziness in the air on Saturday night? Just take a deep breath, you know, and, and take it all in and, and just make myself relax and stay calm. I mean, that's all that I can do, you know, and just it just – Enjoy it. I mean, I'm I'm here. This is this is supposed to be fun, you know. So I'm just embracing everything. And final question for me: With this coming on the on the losing streak, with all the close decisions, is this a must win for you? Definitely, yes. It's definitely a must win for me. That's it. Thank you. <laughs>